Now we've been shown a lot of 3D TV by manufacturers such as Samsung, Sony, Panasonic and LG, but it's always been in a manufacturer controlled environment. Now which has bought its very own Samsung 3D TV and brought it here to our secret test lab. So we're going to have a look at how it performs. Now I'm joined by Michael Briggs, the Witch TV expert. And uh, Mike, what's this TV then? What is this? Hi Ben, um, this is the new Samsung LED TV. They're super sized 55 inch C8000. Um, full HD panel with a Freeview HD tuner built inside. So you've been watching it all day. What 3D content have you been watching? Well, we haven't just been watching 3D content, although obviously 3D is an important aspect of this TV. It's also built for standard definition and high definition, of course. And um, based on what we know from Samsung from last year's tests, where we tested a, a very similar model to this, the B7020, another 55 inch monster, um, that scored exceptionally well in our tests for high definition and standard definition last year. But what about the 3D TV? 3D, okay, 3D. Yeah, we've been watching some 3D as well. Although we're a little bit limited in choice at the moment, um, we managed to buy this Samsung Blu-ray 3D player, which comes with the only 3D Blu-ray disc available at the moment, which is Monsters vs. Aliens. And we've got a few bits and pieces of test material from Samsung, which we won't be using in the full test. We'll be looking for our own material for that. Um, but Monsters vs. Aliens, yeah, it, it looked good. Yeah, so your initial opinion is that you were quite impressed. We, uh, we've watched a few of these before, and each time you watch, yeah, it, it is impressive. You are very impressed by the depth, by the clarity of the picture, by the colour. Um, this LED has a real sparkle to it. What I will say about this set is we're sitting quite close now, probably about five feet away. Um, if you sit, say, eight feet away, the, the, the perception of 3D is still there, but it's less impressive because it's just less immersive. So did you notice any issues? Yeah, unfortunately one or two. Um, now we don't know whether this is unique to this TV or it's going to be on other brands. We won't know that until we get all the other TVs in. But on this one, we watched, um, we, we saw quite a bit of ghosting in the background. And that's kind of a little bit of a double image on some of the backdrops in the cartoon. Um, we also noticed some um, slight juddering in movement. Very, very slight, not, not really that noticeable. But again, we won't know whether that's a big issue just with this TV or with 3D TVs in general until we've got them in the full panel test. Now, Mike, I was with you when we saw the C7000 Samsung TV earlier in the year, and that had some 2D to 3D conversion thing going on. Is that on this model as well? Uh, yeah, it certainly is. It, it is, Ben, and um, to be honest, we're not very impressed. Right. Well, what sort of defects were you seeing? Well, we, we tested it out with a, a standard DVD. In fact, it's a DVD we actually use in our proper viewing test uh, with a game of snooker. And um, we stuck it in, we put the glasses on, and we turned the, the 3D slider. Remember, you could affect the 3D-ness mm -hmm. of the picture. We turned that up to 10, and it, it just made us feel nauseous. What were you seeing? The, the, the images looked completely unreal. You had sort of, you know, balls seemed to be floating in midair. The table looked disjointed. We were seeing lots of uh, blurring of the background. But worst of all was the uh, stuttering motion that it introduced. So that's going, not going to be very good for fast-paced sport or action sequences? I, I don't think we'll be recommending the 2D to 3D effect. So we've got this one 3D TV mic now. We own this. What are your plans for fully testing it? Well, we'll put this C8000 through our regular um, TV test, which is a full-on comparative test. It takes six weeks and we'll test everything. High definition picture, standard definition picture, ease of use, power use, all the features and sound quality. And that'll be fully comparable to every other TV we test as well. So you didn't mention 3D TV there, Mike? No, well, we've got to wait till there's some other 3D TVs that we can buy. Um, that's the whole purpose of which is to compare products on a comparative basis. It's all very well as looking at this one TV on its own, but we need to watch this next to the competition using the same material, watching uh, using our, our regular viewing panel. So, final question, Mike. When are we going to have a full batch of 3D TV results? Well, we'll be expecting the other brands to be launching over the next uh, two months. We're looking towards the end of May, beginning of June, to have our first batch test up live online. Um, we'll be videoing the whole test so everyone can watch for themselves. And of course, Ben, you'll be there. 
Oh, well, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so until then, for more news on 3D TVs and for regular TV reviews, go to our website at witch.co.uk.